Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. CARICOM leaders held an emergency summit in Jamaica on Monday in a bid to hammer out a solution to the worsening political and violence situation in Haiti. There's a push for a transitional leadership body. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and delegations from the United Nations and France attended the meeting. An 11-day-old baby girl who was abducted from a parent at the Kingston Public Hospital on Monday was found after almost six hours in a section of East Kingston. The police say the baby was stolen from her mother, who was using a wheelchair. Principal of Taki High School in St. Mary, Errol Basco, has been charged with buggery. He resigned as the People's National Party's provisional candidate for the St. Mary Western constituency on Friday because of what he calls scurrilous and malicious allegations. Security has been significantly increased in the Grange Hill community in Westmoreland in response to an upsurge in gang violence which resulted in four murders over the weekend. The latest incident occurred about 10 p.m. on Sunday when Shaquille Forrest, who is of a Grange Hill address, was ambushed by heavily armed men as he drove through the Little London community. In sports, Jamaican Brianna Liston said she was inspired by her mother to run 7.02 seconds to win the 60-meter U.S. collegiate title on the weekend. It was the second fastest time in history at the NCAA Indoor Championships. The former St. Diego High and Heidel High star said she drew strength from her mother, who was among spectators for the final of the weekend. In your currency trading, at midday today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.53, with the British pound sterling for $203.29, and the Canadian dollar for $117.62. In your other forecast, Tuesday will be generally fair. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.